Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, movie mania, baby. <laughs> It's a movie mania. Hello, Wanker. <laughs> Aww. Hey, did you guys know that I used to confuse Leonardo DiCaprio with Casper Van Dien in the 90s? Oh, yes. <laughs> Casper Creep Van Dien. Motherfucking creep fan. <laughs> Crankin' Rankin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm so so it's a real parasite sort of situation. Sounds good. See, I was hoping for Citizen Kane, but, you know. Ooh, Citizen Kane's. Citizen... Yeah. <laughs> see, see Orson Welles bursting out of your chest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell is up with that. <laughs> I don't know what sort of television network would allow Creep Van Dien to be on their screen for that long. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Well, well, now we have someone has to pick Creep Van for the show. <laughs> nice. It's a real step up, if you ask me. So you're going to make IMDb do our job for us. Oh. <laughs> so what he's saying is that listeners... Paul really needs a friend to talk to. Oh, 
<laughs> that's 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 a pretty fair description. <laughs> Okay, that's true, yeah. Da 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 Oh, is that the wrong one? Oh da 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 I haven't listened to the show in a while. I don't commute anymore, so I don't listen to any podcasts. I was holding my opinion opinion of this movie pretty close to my chest tonight, but now it's all, I got to let it all out of the bag. I love this movie as much as Nico loves Natasha Leone, as much as Craig Ferguson loves nightclubs full of chained up people solely there for his bloody pleasure. And I love this movie nearly as much as Mike Hayes loves Bluetooth headphones. That's a lot. <laughs> they can. They can, yeah. They can go for hours. <laughs> He drives Richard Elfman's car. That is, oh my God, car facts. God, God damn it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Hey, Paul, can you edit in a, I guess a condom is in an order here, quote. <laughs> John picks her up. They drive off to some abandoned area. Nico turns on the, was there, yeah, Slade Kriass. She turns on some heavy metal. She's thrashing out. She's really into it. They drive to a secluded area. Making a little small talk. This guy is the most awkward guy ever. And Nico just like hisses at him. <sighs> just that's a great response. When when you're talking to to your prostitute, you want her to hiss at you. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> yeah, especially if they hiss at you. <laughs> Yeah, no. Well, one thing, one thing I really liked about this is that the length of their vampire teeth kind of indicates how old they are. So Nico's, Nico's teeth aren't that long. So she's only been a vampire for like 20, 25 years. Well, to, to be fair, Craig Ferguson is fucking awesome in this movie. <laughs> Ulrica or something? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. He 
Yes. <laughs> Both late night hosts. Yeah. 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 But hey, letting Craig Kilborn fail at late night, let Jon Stewart succeed at The Daily Show. Yep. <laughs> I know the name. Yeah, I can't. I, I, I couldn't remember what he was in. I don't think he's in movies where he doesn't play vampires. <laughs> and it's true. Well, she she's the she's the Hollywood slasher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got all kinds of shades of Vampire the Masquerade from this. I mean, yeah, I, I can't I can't imagine they weren't. The, the similarities are so close. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you think about this a little bit, he made her into a vampire. He probably listened to her then, and then he abandons her for 30 years. You know, I've got a theory on that. I bet she got really blackout drunk and only just recently kind of came out of her hangover. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> Rod Stewart. If you think I'm sexy and you want my body. Oh, totally. But I mean, the the best way I can describe this is that Craig Ferguson loves this club as much as I love this movie. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I'm getting a little out of hand there, but almost. Well, we'll find out when rating when the ratings come in. I'm <laughs> Oh, there are tits tits everywhere. God. Even Oh yeah. <laughs> that guy's a lawyer. He's an attorney. And you can't do this to him, but the Count decides to, like, cut his head open anyway with a saw and suck the blood out. Did you guys notice the band? This this club is so decadent, the keyboard player of the band, fully clothed, is air-humping his keyboard. <laughs> Great Fantine. <laughs> 
See, now he sounds like a breakfast sausage. To, to be honest, the, the Count seems pretty fair about stuff. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. I mean, he could have just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did the show run that long? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That was a pretty sexy show. Well, yeah, I mean, whew. I like stockings almost as much as I like that vampire club. <laughs> well, I mean, you've got people in cages and Craig Ferguson is just running around from person to person, just like, ah, ah. He, can't, he cannot settle on just one victim. He is sucking the blood from this girl, this guy, that guy, this girl, this girl, this girl. I mean, just leading them out. Just He is sucking the blood off of, like, everyone. He's got a... It's, the, it's, the club is a buffet there for Craig Ferguson's pleasure. It's amazing. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> God. God. <laughs> Udo Kier. <laughs> hey, he can't fuck that up. Oh, well, Van Helsing, yeah, again, I don't really know how he's a vampire hunter because he makes Time Bomb kill, kill Vincent. And he hands him the steak. Time Bomb doesn't want to do it, but... So, yeah, he screams at him and Time Bomb just stakes him. And then Van Helsing makes him cut off his head. Oh, man, this Time Bomb was not prepared for this, but he, he's a trooper. He, he does it anyway, because... <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hammer away at it with comical sound effects. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, so his son was turned into a vampire, and I think we find out that uh, Dallas is the one who did it. Well, well, it's here we found out that Nico died in those rags. Well, I think it was just a throwaway line, but I like to think I like to believe that it's true. <laughs> oh yeah, that's at the beginning. 
<laughs> well, the bath scene I also loved that they that they're scrubbing her down with fucking comet. <laughs> because why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Bringing in, <laughs> setting in the stage for the historic Crips versus Vampires fight later in the movie. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> They're just drinking, getting high in the back of, <laughs> of Van Helsing's creep van. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh Jay, you think Paul? You think Paul likes the Caspar Van buttocks? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well and mind you she's completely naked at this part so you get a full like topless shot of her just hissing for like 30 seconds <laughs> She's only been posing as a prostitute. She hasn't been following through with the prostitute. <laughs> yeah. All, every vampire movie after Anne Rice's vampires, which were influenced Vampire the Masquerade, which is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, well, Jay, let's just say Mike is holding him down and sucking him dry. <laughs> oh, yeah, right next to the Gorn Rock, right? <laughs> is it? Is 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 it near Disneyland? Oh. Okay. Pumpkin head. <laughs> yeah. Jay. 
Jamba Juice. I mean, uh, the coffee shop, which has my favorite line of the entire movie coming up. <laughs> That's true. It makes sense. Yeah. But I mean, it's fair to say, though, that N Natasha Leone plays Natasha Leone in this. <laughs> Probably, yeah, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a fuckwad. <laughs> Craig Ferguson's character and his wife are picking up this this author talking about Steven Seagal and, <laughs> and as they're walking out after the confrontation with the Count he says you're not gay and Ferguson says no no just by curious it's a lot but it's a lot better just delivered in his line <laughs> It's just such it's just such a small little like not even the focus of the scene, just a stupid little line, just throwaway line that this movie is filled with stuff like that. I just love these throwaway lines. It's a lot of them. Yeah. I know, I know. Oh my god, they're all so great. Yeah, oh yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> oh god. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, it took him fucking 30 years, but finally. Mm -hmm. But it does set up a climactic battle. Well, yeah. Yeah, there's a fucking amazing stunt in this scene. Oh, God. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's so great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, God. It's so great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something. It look it looked great. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, Mike, Mike, I think I think that was her voice double, not her stunt double. <laughs> Wait, we're we're gonna we're gonna skip the whole paint huffing scene? <laughs> Good. <laughs> 
God damn it. Do the do the do the wolves wear blue? All right, unless unless they've got the colors right, it is not a valid allegory. I've done I've done a little research. <laughs> I'm just saying, if, you, if you're going to do something, do it right. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> I don't know what that means. Oh, Udo's head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we also left off where Van Helsing <laughs> says, and, and put this in, Paul. He says, what do you say in your language? Chill it, chill it. Although I will say that Kim Cattrall did a little massaging of the boobies of the heroin girl. She didn't need to do that. She is going the extra mile on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> this this is your reason for picking it, Paul. <laughs> you have to say it, Paul. Yeah, you can you can put the clip in later, but I want to hear you say it. And we're gonna put this in cut for time. <laughs> and then she transforms into this nasty like nasty monster looking thing still still tied to the bed and the guys are still like eh, yeah I'll still do it <laughs> yeah, I, I'll buy that. Mm -hmm. Well, well, it sounded like Kim Cattrall. <laughs> Can I can I can I bring it back to the the sex scene that Time Bomb is totally totally <laughs> Time Bomb is totally disgusted by what his friends are doing, but eh, he's gonna have his turn anyway. Why not? His <laughs> peer pressure is a dangerous drug. <laughs> it's a cautionary tale of sexually transmitted vampirism <laughs> diseases. I told my kids about a cautionary tales of swords today. I think I'm going to watch it with them. <laughs> like literally two hours ago, I was talking about fucking cautionary tales of swords. <laughs> it 
That's Creep Van Dien's Creep Van. Uh, why? Well, because she's not on Pee Wee's Playhouse anymore. That's why they brought her along. She fucking was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I did my research, Paul. Natasha Leone was in Pee Wee's Playhouse. Jimmy Smits. <laughs> Paul Rubens was in Pee-wee's Playhouse. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mentioned earlier that there was that attorney who got put in the table, his head just sticking out of the hole in the center of the table. That's what happens to Van Helsing. He becomes the bald guy in the middle of the table, ready for the count to take his cranial skull saw. I'm not a doctor. I don't know the technical term. And ready to be sawn open and his brain eaten and blood drunk. And yeah, that, that's that's pretty bad. Would have been, maybe put an umbrella in there. Would have been perfect. Oh, and there are also senators. Bring, 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 bring. <laughs> what about my clinkies? God damn it. Well then. Yeah, yes, they do.
Hey. None, none of this matters. The only thing that matters is when Dallas and Nico and Natasha Leone leave the bar. <laughs> when they leave the bar, <laughs> Creep Van Dien kisses Nico, kisses, kisses Natasha Leone, and then Nico also kisses Natasha Leone, cementing their triad. <laughs> Everybody's a fucking vampire. Everybody. That's probably what it was. <laughs> or the, well, 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 okay, if that's the case, there's like 10 more vampires out huffing paint. In downtown LA. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and Van Helsing Van Helsing becomes a vampire everybody becomes a vampire <laughs> Rating time. Ta -da 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 -da. and juicy little misters. Plum and juicy little misters. Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right. You know what? Every time there's a sex scene, they cut to the sky. There's... <laughs> there's so much that does not make sense about this movie. But, God damn it, the cast is amazing. There's just so many little things that go... Like, they just fly into you under the radar, you know, un until you do a rewatch or you're like, oh, wait, what was that? And just hit rewind and just watch it again. Twice. <laughs> I, I'm going to say, while I have the floor, I'm going to say, man, every Richard Elfman movie we've watched. I mean, we saw Forbidden Zone at uh, one of our marathons a few years ago. Loved it. Shrunken Heads, I really enjoyed Shrunken Heads. It was pretty great. So I gotta say, I I like this one like way more than Shrunken Heads. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Like, okay, it's it's no Forbidden Zone, but I am all in on anything Richard Elfman makes. Holy shit, this was fucking great. I loved this movie. I'm not. I mean, not. I'm not. I'm not gonna put it in like the super like rare level of like say manborg or something but oh man i oh i've totally bought into this movie this movie was great especially once they hit the uh the, the club scene fucking amazing loved it and everything from then on just so many just it's just ridiculous so much stupid crap happens and i loved it oh my god so did we did we settle on a uh, rating scale are we going with the uh, Plump and juicy little misters. <laughs> so I'm going to give this 89 plump and juicy little misters. I, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. ha. <laughs> Listen, Mike, you're the one who gave the incredible bulk like a 100. Come on. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. You people. I'm, I cannot believe I'm friends with you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Pl plump and juicy little misters is a little more concise. <laughs> I think we need to do that. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Showgirls 2. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I love you. I think, did, I, did I introduce you to that one, Jay? Oh, yes. <laughs> T-shirts. Five-star ratings. <laughs> because we were arguing about Jay's pick. Oh, 
because I said that because we have t-shirts for sale. We have five star reviews for sale. Give us a review. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which is one of the podcasts you can put in our new Save It For The Podcast t-shirt. Ooh. <laughs> Slade Craven. Don't forget about Crankin' Rankin'. And I just, I, I just gotta say, I love my new T-shirt. <laughs> you know what I love most about our sweatpants? Oh, you know what? My my daughter is here. I can't say it. So never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Look, there she goes. There she goes. All right. Uh, <laughs> probably, probably. <laughs> well, I, what I wanted to say is that our sweatpants have plenty of room. <laughs> There's plenty of space for your penis or vagina, so you can appreciate them for men or women. <laughs> that was that would have been a five dollar spew. <laughs> Spew. <laughs> All right, that's going in my that's going to my night beast commercials for the five dollar spew. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>